Hi guys, how you doing? Okay, um, new welding tool came out this weekend, so I've only just got hold of it and I've decided to try and do some builds that couldn't be done before. Um, the first thing I tried was to make a tank, but a lot of people tried that and the frames per second took a massive hit. However, I did learn something really cool while I was doing that. It was, uh, as you can see, really big tracks and uh, I had not put enough links in the upright position. So I had to put an extra link in, so I thought, I'll take a chance here. I've never done this before. I'll just cut it in half and see if I can put the two entire sections together again, even though they're both like, as you can see, kind of floppy, loose kind of things. And I'm going to put them back into a different position than they were before, not the same position, which is a different thing. So I quickly put in the extra, extra link, and this is how easy it was to join them up. Look at that. That is just astonishing. That is just so cool. We're going to have a great time with this new welding tool. But not just for repairs, for making adjustments and for redesigning your stuff as well. But um, more importantly, for the things that you can now build that you couldn't build before. Okay, so let's get to that. Um, this is a giant walker. Let's see, I couldn't make the tank that I really wanted to because of the FPS, but I thought, right, okay. There's a particular type of walker that I like that has a linkage between the legs. And you can see the linkage there. It's the big glass sort of Z-shaped. That keeps the two legs in sync, but it, what it also does is it, it turns a, a circular motion at the top into an elliptical one at the bottom, so you get a nice smooth sort of walking effect. This is at a slow speed, so you can see it. We'll speed it up in a bit and we'll have some more fun with it. But it worked really well. Now, the reason you couldn't do that before is because there's a continuous link of bearings all joined up to each other all the way through that uh, on each side. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, there's a lot of... Um, I don't know what he's doing to this tree, but I had to put a stop to it, but um, there you go. We'll see more of the, be the way those legs are behaving there as well, because they changed their behaviour, it was quite unexpected. So like I say, the front legs and the back legs are, are synced together, they cannot get out of sync with each other. Because of that linkage plus, it makes them go elliptical. This is it speeded up a bit, he's out in the open, he's looking good. Um, I, well, the other thing is I just wanted to make it absolutely as big as possible and see how much it could take. This is what happens when you put an IKEA table and IKEA beds together. You make a run for it. So let's turn it up a little bit more and you'll see the way the gate changes this to me by surprise. I didn't expect this really. Turn it up. That's about as far as I got. I did. I went one more than that and it was just silly, just bouncing about. It didn't make any sense. So this is, this is as fast as most sensible sort of level that it'll go at. But even then it's sort of slipping a bit underfoot. But it's as if it realises that it's an ungainly movement for that kind of speed, and it changes its gait. Because the, the front and back on each side are synced together, but the two sides are not synced with each other. Like I did that on Besiege once, and I just synced them together with braces. Invisible, you know, braces don't um, interrupt with blocks. But here I couldn't do that. I couldn't think of a quick and easy way to sync the two sides. And here you go, let me actually see with your eyes. It changes from a trot into a gallop and then the legs just line up with each other and it's got galloping about the place. And uh, there it goes, absolute perfect sync side by side. And it seemed happier like that. And when it was like that as well, it was good at uh, avoiding obstacles and what have you. As you'll see in a second. Yeah, that was quite mad, it's good fun. Again, disappointed I've got my tank, but I've got a whole bunch of new ideas coming up. So what way is this going to turn? Is it going to go left or right when it hits this rock? I had it that it would go uh, right because it's downhill. But it actually turns around and goes the other way. It goes left, it goes uphill. Very strange. Maybe it's because it was canted over. But the other thing was it um, came up against a little tree as well. Uh, there you go. And I thought I was going to stumble on it the way they normally do with trees. But it just went right over the top of it because it's massive. So um, yeah, I enjoyed making this. This was good. It's a nice fluid motion. And uh, the next thing to do for me, anyway, is to try and get a, a knee joint into it now. But it was great with the obstacles. This was it going down downhill and a sl at the slow speed. Coped with it really well. I love having those mattress feet. I really do. Um, you'll see how I ended up with the mattress feet in a second because I'll show you an earlier model that I had been working on before I started building this bad boy. And, um, and there you go. And it was just made of pipes, and it was just the, the round wheel rotation was getting turned into an elliptical by a lower. See, that the higher up you put those linkages, the more elliptical foot movement you'll get. So it becomes that you're too low, and it's still getting a bit too much circular at the bottom. Clumpy, clumpy. So the higher up you put it, the more difficult it is to control as well. 
you need decent feet and decent all sorts of stuff, but um, you get a better ellipse. Um, I learned all this from looking at a Disney animation channel that showed you how to um, computerize animated characters. <laughs> I learned how to do all these linkage things in Besiege. Absolutely amazing. Um, yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a great... Uh, so yeah, just before we go, I thought, well, I'll have a quick go because this thing's screaming to be a dinosaur and I'll put two linked up large swivels fore and aft with a tail and big head on it and it, it, it threw it out threw the mechanism out altogether because the, they weren't synced the head movement which is bobbing up and down wasn't synced to the legs and so it just didn't make any sense it went into a sort of vibration pattern that couldn't handle it but I thought it was quite interesting anyway um, it does look ridiculous but you can see that's a that's a big piece of kit it's fucking about all over the place there so I think it's totally possible now that we could build big walking machines, but I've got to get some knees into them, some knee joints and some ankle joints, but yeah, that's totally doable. Look forward to yeah, really exploring this this, uh, this great welding tool. I think it's already way better than I thought it was going to be. And it is so easy to use, it's just unreal. It's a really well thought out piece of kit. Okay, so that's it guys, I am off again. Um, I will be doing another one shortly. I'm sort of um, getting through quite a lot right, in the right now. I'm kind of busy on the, uh, the channel front and on hopefully on the streaming front. So I'll catch you guys later. Thanks for watching, bye.